I'm from California. I love in and out Burger. I live in Korea. Korea has no in and out Burger. What the heck? Korea has all these chains. And I know in and out is not a big international company. But if you can have even these chains, why not in and out What gives? So I guess it's time for me to give up my life here in Korea and just come back to America now. But wait, Korea does have In-N-Out Burger and it's called Fake In-N-Out Burger. And I'm going to tell you all about it today. In-N-Out headquarters didn't officially license out any franchises outside of the US. But that didn't stop some local Korean business owners from making their own copycat versions. There are three nearby my house. There may be more in the country, but I'm not going to venture that far out. Not even for a hamburger, my favorite food in the world. <laughs> the first is in Seoul. The place is called Burger and Fries. Literally the most generic name ever. I went there last year with my ex-girlfriend. I'd say it's 80% like in and out The second is in Buchan. The place is called Cry Cheese Burger. Literally the weirdest name ever. I went there two years ago with a prospective girlfriend. <laughs> I'd say it's 85% like in and out 80-85% is not good enough. I need the hard stuff, you know? The pure experience. So today we're gonna go to a third location, Cheongna International City, to visit Gothel's Burger Bar. I don't know. According to my map, in and out burgers this way. I feel like I'm just heading deeper and deeper into the countryside, into the wilderness. So here we are. It's in and out burger. Huh. Check it out. And even this door is cool. How do I even get in here? Admittedly, the presentation is quite different from in and out It's more like a diner burger in nature. But I'm holding out hope that the taste delivers that in and out experience. Alright, that was pretty good. Pretty filling. Not the cheapest, but not super expensive either. Taste, not exactly like in and out burger. Maybe 80-90% similar, but it was very good, very delicious, delicious in its own way. So, I'll be back. So thanks for watching. My channel is about Korea and Japan traveling and life. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe below. Anyways, in the rest of this video, we're going to continue exploring Cheongna International City, Korea's new city. So stick around for that. So I'm going to introduce some businesses we have here in Korea and you know Papa John's so yeah it's pretty popular here in Korea too and over there you see Home Plus which is like a department store and over there is Lotte which is a more upscale department store and check this out right here Toys R Us it's pretty wild we still got Toys R Us here it's like how in Japan they still got Tower Records and I've seen many advertisements for these it's like a super futuristic massager super expensive massager and then these guys I don't know who they are first time I've seen them I'm your hope, you're my hope, I'm Jay Hope Hope right here! Hi guys my name is V. Um, I'm a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna argue with that. Another popular store in Korea is Daiso. Like, they have Daiso everywhere, and for us, this is like our Walgreens. 
And yeah, Daiso is very, yeah, very popular here in Korea and Japan. It's a um, Japanese company actually. So our last destination today is a park they have here. Uh, I'm forgetting the name. Chongna Lake Park, I believe. And I see some park here. It looks like a park. I don't know. I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna just cut through here if I can. And I can't. Okay. Um, this is retarded. I guess we enter through this way. All right, just a simple park. Pretty wide open. Nice nonetheless. Can I go in here? Looks like an office building. No, it's a uh, movie theater. This is another great thing they have in Korea are um, these umbrella holders or umbrella bags so that your umbrella is not dripping around everywhere. So I feel like this building is super new and maybe half the Lots are not even filled yet. Oh, that's nice of them. This popular Korean brand for makeup or beauty supplies. I've been here a few times, I'm not gonna lie. So I think we're almost there. I think just straight ahead is the lake and what does that sound? Please tell me that's not thunder, not as construction. In America, I think you got what, six feet of uh, rule. In Korea, it's two meters. So this is the downtown area and just across, I think this is the park. I mean the yeah park lake or park for the lake whatever and even here they have free hand sanitizers if I can get this in focus so it looks pretty pretty large and vast I wish the weather was better I wish they didn't have this giant wall here and uh, it appears wow they're building even more stuff here I mean, this city is constantly growing. Rain and all, I was determined to see what else this park offered. Windows for a park. It's kind of goofy. But cool too. So it looks like they're building something on this island. Yeah, I really love these colors. Reminds me of fall, but it's spring now. So this right here is the newish Chongra station. Huh, it's funny, it's an umbrella dryer. <laughs> First time I've seen that.
thank you everyone for sticking around till the end. You guys are my best viewers. Anyways, my channel is about Korea and Japan, traveling and life. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe and follow me on Instagram. If you follow me, I'll follow you. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.